Hello na karibu katika day 18 ya 30 days challenge Mimi ni Dr. Said Said Kama we ni mgeni, basi ni meazisha mchezo wa kucheza mimi na wewe Kazi yangu ni kurekodi video moja moja kila siku kwa siku salasini Na kazi yako ni kukomen chini na kunambia video gani ni rekodi siku inaufuata Kwa hivyo kama ujashiriki hadi sasa hivi, hakikisha unafanya hivyo Kwa kubofia subscribe pamoja na kegele Ikisha baada kufanya hivyo, comment chini kesho ni zungumzie video gani Kwa hivyo comment ambayo imepata likes nyingi jana ni kutoka kwa Homan Ukwama na haya amesema jinsi ya nizungumzie jinsi ya kuendelea kwa imara katika soko japo wapinzani wanaongezeka apart from kuwa mtaalamu kwenye jambo moja. Kwa sababu unaweza kuwa mta, mtaalamu na bado unamiliki mradi. Kifupi kataka nizungumzie mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza jinsi ya kutawala soko lako na jambo la pili je unaweza Mbali na kuwa mtaalamu katika sehemu moja Yani uneza ukawa katika masoko mawili at the same time Au masoko zaidi ya moja at the same time So in short, video ya leo labda tuneza tukaiita Jinsi ya kutawala soko lako na kuongeza kipato cha biashara yako Something like that Okay, so this is um, a very common topic ambayo watu huwa napenda kuniuliza Na nitaanza kwa kukupa habari mbaya na habari nzuri Habari mbaya labda nianze na habari nzuri. Habari nzuri ni kuwa kama upo katika soko lenye ushindani, habari nzuri ni kuwa opportunity ya kutengeneza pesa ni kubwa zaidi kuliko soko ambalo halina ushindani. That is the good news. Okay? Lakini habari mbaya ni kuwa kama hujatumia formula nzuri katika soko la ushindani, basi hautakamata hela yoyote katika hiyo soko. So that is the bad news. So kazi yangu katika video hii ni kukufahamisha exactly ufanye nini ili kuweza kudominate soko. Na namshukuru Mungu uh, tangu mimi nianze uh, na online profits um, nime stick na hii formula ya kuweza kunifanya na kuwa unique na ushindani wangu. Kwa hivyo ule ushindani unakuwa haupo kivile. In fact, in fact kusema la ukweli si feel kama nina ushindani katika soko langu. So I wish the same kwako ukifuata hii formula ambayo nitakupatia sasa hivi. Okay? So how do you do that? How do you differentiate yourself katika soko? Kabla sijaelezea hivyo nataka nielezee kosa ambalo watu wengi wanafanya. Kosa kubwa ambalo watu wengi wanafanya wakiingia sokoni wanaangalia washindani wao wanafanya nini ikisha na wao wanataka kufanya kama vile wanavyofanya. Big 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 mistake. Big mistake. Na kama wewe una, kama unaona unashindwa ku dominate soko lako, basi kuna asilimia kubwa unajaribu kuwaiga watu wengine wanafanya nini. Na wengi utakuta namba moja hawajui exactly wanamlenga nani. Namba mbili wanajaribu kuuza bidhaa nyingi at the same time. Na namba tatu hawajui namna ya kujiposition sokoni ili wawe na mvuto kuliko washindani wao. Wanataka wawe kama wao. Sijui tunaelewana. So wanataka na wao waonekane na, na wao ni wafanyabiashara kama wafanyabiashara wengine. It's a big mistake what you are doing. Okay? So what is the solution? The solution number solution ya kwanza, I'll give you a formula. Tunaita the 1 1 formula. Okay? So here's the formula. Inaitwa the 1 1 1 formula. Makampuni yote makubwa wametumia Facebook wametumia Google wametumia Amazon wametumia makampuni mengi wametumia. Baadaye walipoweza kudominate ile niche yao waka expand market wakaweza kudominate katika market nyingine. Okay? So that is the formula. So what is the one one formula? The one one formula is una focus katika niche moja. Una focus katika soko maalum moja. Una solve problem moja. Na unauza bidhaa moja. Ukianza unaanza hivyo. Okay? So the one one formula. Inezikana unabidhaa, una yani una package moja, labda ukaka, yani un, una product moja, lakini ina cover, ukawa na package tatu tofauti, lakini in general ni product moja. Siju kama tunaelewana. Ni kama Google wakitoa email, wanezo wakasema tuna email ya kulipia. Lakini kama unataka space hii, utalipia kiasi fulani space nyingine, kiasi nyingine. All in all ni product ile ile moja. So nikisema product moja, 
haimaanishi kuwa yani bei ndio hiyo hiyo moja. Unaweza kuona bei tofauti lakini ina solve ni product ni kama moja. Sijui kama tunaelewa. Okay? So tukianza na jambo la kwanza, you focus on one niche market. Kwa hivyo unatakiwa kumjua exactly unamlenga nani na unatatua tatizo gani. Kama utashindwa ku define hilo basi hapo ndo utafeli. Na watu wengi japokuwa wanajaribu kupiga makelele katika ile jambo focus katika niche moja siju watu hawanielewi au vipi unaweza kukuta mtu let's say yuko kwenye anawatengenezea watu logo kwa mfano yeye ni graphic designer nikimuuliza upo katika soko gani jibu analonipa ni jibu ambalo halipo clear liko vague inawasaidia wafanyabiashara kuwatengenezea logo au 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 kupata wateja so it's not very clear hajui anamlenga nani na anatatua tatizo gani namba moja anasema na walengo wafanyabiashara wafanyabiashara is a huge market it's not specific pili tatizo gani anatatua vile vile ananipa general sense ya tatizo analotatua Why does this happen? Kwa sababu watu wengi tunafikiria bidhaa au huduma tunazotoa badala ya kuspend muda na kuf, ku, kujiuliza hivi mimi namlenga nani? Who exactly mimi namlenga? Ni nani? You are getting my point. You really need to um, understand kiundani exactly unamlenga nani. Mimi nilipokuwa natengeneza website nilijua na walenga wamiliki wa makampuni ya tours. That was my target audience. Wamiliki wa makampuni ya tours. Na that nilikuwa nawalenga wao. Na tatua tatizo gani? Nawasaidia kupata wateja mtandaoni kupitia tovuti zao. So it was very clear hata nikimpigia mwenye kampuni ya tours, kwa hivyo hapo hakuna mtu anaweza kushindana na mimi. It's very yani it's very simple. Nampigia mtu wa tours, hello, kwa jina anaitwa Dr. Said. Na at that time hata ofisi sina. Naambia tunategemea kufungua ofisi yetu soon sisi tunawasaidia wamiliki wa makampuni ya tours kuweza kumiliki tovuti zitakazowasaidia kupata wateja katika tovuti zao. They were very really kweli nasema ya yeah, kweli na sasa hivi tunatoa free consultation na nitakuelezea exactly namna unavyoweza kupata wateja katika tovuti yako. You see how nimeweza kujiposition sokoni hapo? Positioning yangu tofauti na watu wengine. Unafanya nini na watengenezea watu website? Totally different. Tayari nishaua nisha soko. You are getting my point. Lakini ukiingia sokoni, mimi nitakusaidia kupata wateja kupitia logo. Um, still it's not it's not clear kwa sababu huja define ile market yako vizuri. Sijui tunaelewana. So you really need to be very good katika kuweza ku understand soko lako ni nani na problem gani unatatua. Okay. Um, so tukirudi katika one one formula jambo la kwanza target kundi maalumu ya watu a specific group of people kama ni wafanyabiashara ni wafanyabiashara gani ni SMEs small and medium enterprise na unaweza hata uka, ukaingia katika labda brick and mortar business brick and mortar business ni kampuni zinazotoa kampuni ambazo ni local businesses ambazo kwa mfano makampuni ya ujenzi makampuni ya wanasafisha nguo dry cleaner hizi ndo brick and mortar business unaweza wakasema mimi na target brick and mortar business ku solve tatizo fulani au mimi nina target labda mak, nani makampuni makubwa au viwanda my target audience ni viwanda you are getting my point so you really need to understand wapi katika ile market kubwa unataka kujikita mpaka watu wakujue wakisha kujua then unaweza ku expand katika hizi market nyingine that is the only way uta penetrate soko lako sijui kama tunaelewana okay so hilo jambo la kwanza so, so, so jambo la kwanza ni market jambo la pili it has to be a specific problem katika hiyo market usijaribu ku solve problem nyingi ah manake mimi nawasaidia kufanya hili na lile na hili na lile utaonekana you are all over the place. So and the way una, utavoweza kufanya hivyo ni swala la kujiuliza. Mtu alokuwepo katika ile soko, tatizo lake kubwa hasa ni nini? 
Kwa mfano kama una target viwanda pengine tatizo sio kupata wateja. Pengine tatizo lao kubwa ni harama ya umeme is the biggest problem. Wanatumia umeme mwingi, yani costs kubwa katika viwanda vyao ni umeme. So we ukiweza kujiposition sisi tunawasaidia wamiliki wa viwanda kuokoa hadi asilimia thelathini ya umeme katika viwanda vyao tayari ushaji position vizuri katika soko and that is the only thing that you do sisi kazi yetu na tuna perfect we are so good katika hiyo kazi kuwa hakuna mtu anaweza kushindana na sisi kwa sababu you are not all over the place mara una 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 unawasaidia una, una kupunguza swali la umeme mara sijui unawafungia mafeni sijui unafanya hivi you cannot do multiple things at once be a specialist kuwa specialist katika ile jambo moja you are getting my point then baada hapo unakuwa na product moja you have one singular product ambayo ita solve ile problem sijui tunaelewana ukishaweza kufanya hivyo utakuwa so unique katika soko kiasi ambacho mtu mwenye tatizo lako atakujua tu ni nani ni kama sasa hivi kama Mtu anahitaji kufanyiwa upasuaji. Daktari wa upasuaji anajulikana tu ni nani? Bingwa wa upasuaji Tanzania. Hao atajulikana tu. Sijui tunaelewana. And that is what you want. The problem nyinyi this is the thing. The problem wewe unaangalia hii video. Here's the problem. You are too unaendekeza distraction. Unaendekeza distraction unaona ah nkifocus hapa nitakosa na opportunity nyingine. Sasa hizo opportunity nyingine hizo ndo zinakufanya hujulikani sokoni. That is the problem. Focus, be so good at what you do. Focus katika jambo moja na ukai perfect. So good at what you do. Mimi nilipoanza nilikuwa hivyo hivyo all over the place. Mara nafanya network marketing, mara sijui of course at that time nawatengenezea watu website, sijui kulikuwa na na businesses ya kuza flash, sijui ulikuwa na nafanya affiliate marketing, nafanya blogging siju inafanya na YouTube at that time yani na makorokoro kibao nafanya at, at the same time it was crazy na hangaika tu kama mbwa anayefukuza mkia mpaka ikafika point ikasema i cannot continue like this i need to find a way na nikakutana na mentor mmoja akanambia you have to be focused mtu akiuliza dr said anajulikana kwa kitu gani utasema nini nikashindwa kujibu ilo swali Sema so you have to focus on that for the next five years and that is what I did. Kasema miaka mitano nataka nijulikane katika kuwasaidia watu kujenga biashara mtandaoni hakuna kama Dr. Said Tanzania nzima. Hiyo ndo mission nilokuwa nayo. That was my mission. Baada ya kufanya hivyo ndo nimeanza kujulikana na nikaanza kujenga jina mtandaoni. And that is what you need to do. Wapi unataka kujikita na ujulikane katika kitu gani? Okay? Na mwanzoni I understand inawezekana huelewi, hujui utataka kujikita wapi but focus ya moja for a few hata miezi sita uangalie. Ikishaangalia upepo na kupeleka vipi? Mimi nimeanza na website najikita katika kuwasaidia makampuni ya tours. Ikishaangalia naangalia upepo. Kuna vitu vingine nimependa, vitu vingine sijapenda. Um, kitu ambacho sijapenda unamtengenezea mtu website nzuri ambayo inaweza kunasa wateja lakini haitumi ile website ipasavyo. Kwa hivyo ile kazi yangu sometimes inakuwa nashindwa kuona matunda ya kazi yangu. So ina ni disappoint ni kama mtu unamtengenezea gari ambayo inaenda speed kali lakini yeye anaendesha speed ya kilomita 20 kwa saa. So kwa mimi ilikuwa ina ni disappoint. Nikawa najiuliza okay what can I do ku, 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 kuona impact ya kazi yangu. Ndio nikaingia katika kufundisha. Ndio hapo ndio nilipohamia katika kufundisha. Okay and nikaanza kwa na impact ya kazi yangu kwa wanafunzi wangu uh, then wengine walikuwa kwa hivyo nikawa nawafundisha wafanyabiashara how to, how jinsi kupata wateja online then baadaye nika shift kuna wengine lakini na sisi hatuna biashara ndo hapo nikaanza ku expand market yangu okay so that is that is the formula ndo 111 na ukiweza kufanya one one vizuri then utaweza kujiposition vizuri sokoni na watu watakujua wewe ni nani na na utafika mbali. Na upati ya pili ya swali anauliza unaweza ukafocus mbili wakati mmoja ukianza no. Uki expand obviously utaweza sasa kuintroduce product nyingine na makampuni makubwa kama Google, Microsoft 
uh, Facebook um, ndio walivyofanya mwanzoni walifocus sehemu moja Facebook walipoanza ilikuwa just social media